Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this one is by uh, popular demand, actually. Uh, quite a few people, when they saw this, was asking about when, when am I going to do it. And to be honest with you, I wanted to do it as well. So we're all in agreement. This is a seriously overpainted Mark Mine Cortina by Dinky. As you watch this go around, I'll get a bit closer so you can perhaps see a bit more of the paintwork on it. I'd just like to thank all the, the friends of the channel and any new friends who've joined me. Thanks very much. It's much appreciated. Look at the paint on the back of that. Um, it's very much appreciated. And like always, I always like to get back to you on your comments as uh, as soon as I can or by the... By the uh, Sunday, because uh, you know it is uh, quite busy. There you go. So let's get this off the magic and have a good look at it. Okay, we're off then. Let's have a closer look at this. Okay, check the base out. Dinky Toys for Cortina, Meccano Limited, number one three nine. There you go, number one three nine. It's got steering on the front. You can see that. And the wheels move side to side. Now these um, these posts, I've got quite big holes in those actually, as it happens. So with these, I'm just going to spin off the mushroom. Well, it's not even a mushroom now. It's like a, I don't know what it is. Looks like a vase top. But I'll, I'll get them off. And we'll get it out. Now what we've got, we've got opening doors. And luckily for me, they've got both seat backs. Because quite a few of these come without the seat backs are missing. I think there's all that paint that's holding them in there. So both doors are opening and closing in a fashion. Now the biggest worry is going to be is these pillars. I've probably touched on this when I was showing you originally when I got it. Quite a few of these have got broken pillars. I'm not 100% sure or not whether that's broken in there. It looks like it's a bit chewed away. A lot of it is down to the doors. As you'll see when I take it apart, there's a quite a strong plate goes across there and it puts quite a bit of pressure on there. And I've found, I've got one of these in the box over there, which is which <laughs> was very similar to this, actually, overpainted. And when it's stripped it out, both of these are broken off. Plus, it snapped at the sill, but you couldn't see it because the paint was holding it together. So basically the front end collapsed. So uh, I'm in the process of working out the best way to repair that. So hopefully this is not going to be so bad. It's got the tyres on it. 15mm, these. Got nice suspension on the back. And a bit on the front. Yeah, so I'm going to get this base off and then we'll, uh, we'll look into it and take it apart ourselves, yeah? Okay, that didn't take long. What I used was a, uh, I've got some new drill bits here, Stanley ones they are, uh, six mil, just to take off the top of the mush, take off the top edge, as you can see. So let's have a look. It's got the little uh, indentation at the back there where you can put the tow hook if you had the caravan. So we lift off there, lift off there. We're gonna look at this bit first. There's your plate. Okay, and we have steering mechanism. This is fairly good. So that's going to be okay. So is the back. So we haven't got a problem with that. Take the tyres off. These are, are good tyres. I'm only glad it didn't get the paint on the wheels and the hubs and that because they would have done. Okay. So we'll get these, uh, this and go and get cleaned up. Be job done. So we've got the tyres and the base. There, we'll get the little box, put them in there for now. Let's have a look at the interior, and this is going to be important. I don't know how much paint is actually stuck on here. We'll open the doors in case we need to get them out. Might help getting the interior out. 
And we'll just have a look, see what's going on here. And it's not loose, let's put it that way. I don't want to, to break it if I can. No, that's not coming out. I might have to soak this to dislodge something. Well, you can see the metal band there. What holds the doors in place there and there. Let's just try and drop the door shut. Oh, it's coming. It is stuck, there you go. It is stuck with the paint. All right, so there you have the interior. With it's complete with the two seat backs. So be careful we don't uh, damage that anymore. That's that. And there we have the dashboard with the steering wheel. Now I would say you'd have to get that out, that out. Yeah, you can, if you twist these, they'll come out. There's no pins to hold them in place. Those doors, there's no pins. They just push behind that metal bar. So as you can see, you just twist them, drag them out. That's those two. Now the dashboard. Not sure how this comes out. We'll just gently maneuver it. There you go. Just got a screwdriver underneath it and lifted it up. And that's fell out as well. So that's cool. That's cool. There's the old dashy board. Actually, it's pretty good steering wheel because that's what I remember the steering wheels being like that. Very dished. Yeah, it's got the air vents on the top. Right, so that's the dashboard. Ah, right, okay. I didn't notice that. Hold on. That bit must... Ah, yeah. This piece here, that must fit over the top on the way back. Yeah. Yeah, if you can see down in there, where this fits, obviously. Somehow it'll go back in there. Over there and hold it in place. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a... Right, windscreen. Now, it's not riveted in, but it's solid. The paint has got it in there. And I really, really... This is, oh, I just put a bit of pressure on the front, on the back there, and that's loosened that. But it's this front. Let's be careful. Just got that bit there. Let's loosen that. Let's drop that back. It's coming. There you go. Whew. That was hold your breath moment, boys. That was hold your breath moment, boys and girls, or ladies and gentlemen. Because I've got some uh, ladies watching. So I apologise if I got it wrong. Yeah, so there's your windscreen. That should clean up. It's not fogged, which is a which is a bonus, not like the bus. So that's a bonus. So there's your windscreen. So there we go. This looks like it was a metallic blue, judging by this. So I've got to drill the posts out. You got a 2.5 millimeter drill to take the rivets. I'll flatten off the tops there, the shoulders, to get down level to the shoulders there. And we'll see. It doesn't look. I'm just gonna have, where's um I'm just gonna have a dig here. I'm just gonna have a see. It doesn't look like the posts are broken. But they look very thin. 
if you look there that little coming in there little piece there it looks very thin right this should be interesting i'm going to film the caustic soda bit on this bin and hopefully it'll all come off it just looks like um no it look probably enamel on there i would say yeah okay next stop caustic soda okay here we go chuck that in there got the fan on looks to me like I'm on the last of the caustic soda I hope I've got enough here we go well, that's that empty it's fizzing away I'm just going to put a drop of this this in A helping hand. Hopefully that will be enough. Right, shall we see? say it's coming off but it's going to be a, a slow one I might not get it all off I'll chuck a bit more of this in it's going to be I think it's going to be a slow one this definitely coming off the doors yeah it's definitely coming off the doors you can see the color is blood red yeah it's coming off I think this is painted being painted look it's got dark blue on it it's got dark blue, it's got dark blue, red, white. So it's been painted a few different colours, this one. But what I want to check is the uh, door pillars. There, yeah, they look okay. So I'm going to leave that in there for a bit. As you can see, it is coming off. So I'm going to let that soak. That's it, out the stripper. Not too bad at all. Now you can see some of the details. Front grill, lights, indicators, bumper. The pillars are in good condition. I would say that's got a slight fracture in it, but nothing to worry about. There's the old famous back lights. The old Cortina. Fuel filler cap. Right, give it a wire brushing. So we do is give it a wire brushing. Let it polish up. That's what we'll do. We'll get in all here. I'm not going to show it all of it again. It's seen me do this quite a few times. Getting all the nooks and crannies, best you can, shine it up. There we go. Down the side. Right, I'm going to get this done. There you go, it's coming up nice, isn't it, look. 
you actually see the back end now. All right, get this done, get some primer on it, get some paint on it. All right, here we go then, that's the blue. That's the blue done, Ford Olympic blue. You can see all the details now, whereas you couldn't before. So I've got the doors and I've done the interior. I've done this in a, in, in a darker blue and I've done the carpet. That's all done. And I've also done the door cards. I've just touched them up a little bit. Yeah, I think it's that way around. Can't bloody remember now. Yeah, no, it's that. Yeah, it's that way around. Yeah. Done the door cards. Just to give them a bit of colour. And I've done the dashboard. Done the, the top black as it cover. And the rest is the body colour outside. So that's where we are at the minute. So now we've got to paint some details on. So we're ready to go. Yeah, it came out quite nice. Just had a couple of days to harden off a little bit. Holes are drilled in the bottom. So let's have a look, see what we can do here. I've got my paintbrush and my paint. Excuse my hands if you can see. We'll do the grill. There we go. We should do the grill. There you go, that's a bit of it then. Yeah, I looked at the colours and I thought, well, this is a pale blue. Uh, Ford did quite a few different colours in this thing. Maroon, dark green, blue, white. I have seen some red ones, but not too many. Uh, yeah, so it's quite a popular. A dark blue, a lot. Oh, what's that on there? Got a bit of crap on there. So, we'll get these done. There we go. The grill, uh, headlights. Like I say, I'm not gonna put me gone three minutes, I'm not for a bit yet. Two headlights, quite big headlights on these. I made a little gear stick for this as well. Because anybody who's had a Mark 1 will remember that the gear stick was quite long on one of these things. So I've got a pin and I've made a gear stick. I'll just gently do that around there. I mean the best one of these to get it's the old Lotus Cortina, very nice. That's uh, the one we're in now. You need lottery money because they're very expensive. Very expensive. Right. We'll add light, grill. We'll do the indicator. There's two different sorts of indicators on them. Some was, the front was half and a half. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Right, 
just going to do one at the back just so I'll show you. Now these are those fancy lights and what we're going to do here, I'm going to paint it all in the silver. Yeah. And then touch in with the transparent Tamiya. And hopefully I'll keep it in the lines. Because I think these really look nice. Nice and steady. Just a bit more, just gradually, gradually go around and build it up. That's it. Right, so that's your, that's your main circle, and then we'll fill in the uh, bits and bobs later. Right, I'm going to get on with this then. Details all done. Front, with number plate on it. There you go. These uh, side lights down here, there was another version which had a bigger grill, and the side lights were incorporated in the grill. These are the telltale backlights. They're nice, they come out nice. Using the Tamiya trans, transparent uh, red and orange. Okay. So we're all done. All we do now is assembly time. Oh, door handles are done. There. I did the door handles on the inside. It's got the, uh, the keep fit window winders. I've just put the gear stick in there. Okay. I'm going to paint that black now. And then we're good to go. So, there we are. Base is painted. So, next stop, assembly. Assembly time. Before we carry on and assemble this, um, I'd just like to say, this build, I'm dedicating it to a, a friend of the channel, uh, a long-term friend of the channel. Uh, his name is Jeff Mower. He lives over there in Australia. And we were talking, when he, when he saw my um, end-of-month purchases, he saw the Cortina, and he was chatting to me uh, on email, which we normally do. And uh, he's always said his wife, uh, she had one, a white one, uh, she had one, a Mark One Cortina, and her father bought it for her. Uh, when she started nursing. So I said to her, I said, what colour was it? And he said, basically, it's a, a, a pale blue, a light blue. And uh, so I thought, well, why not? So I'm dedicating this to his uh, partner, his wife, Juliet. So if you're watching Juliet, it's just for you, girl. All right. And to look after my man for me. Right, so let's get on with this. Okay. Right. Let's get the windscreen in first. Get it all the way around. Drop that in. Now this, I have dry, did a dry run on this. It's not that easy to get together, to be honest with you. So, let's get this in here. Right way around. Yeah, it's that way around, that's it. Drop that in there. Right, that appears to go in the right place there. And then we've got this piece with the cutout. It goes at the bottom in there. Like so. Okay. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. Make sure I get the doors the right way around this time, eh? It'll be no good by getting the wrong way around, will it? That's that side. Just move that to one side so you can see properly. You have to move that spring slightly. These doors aren't too bad. 
you can they will fit in <coughs> excuse me they will fit in all right if i get them in right that is just push them in like that <coughs> excuse me got a tickle in my throat <coughs> Right, dear me, get your finger in that spring and just bring it back and slide your door in, okay, now these doors on these things were never great fitting anyway, they do tend to kick out a little bit, I have tried several different ways of getting these to sit bang on <coughs> excuse me what's going on here right then we got the interior now a little tag fits in between the two there drops down like that so it's sitting level okay I don't know what I've got to do. What I forgot to do, which I should have done, is just to. Excuse me, just while I nip that off a bit. You get the base in. Oh no. Front axles first. This is steerable, so they sit on the top like that. There and there. And that's it, there and there. Just checking everything. Yeah. Just checking everything before we button her up. That don't seem right, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? There. There. Yeah, can't go any other way, can it? Okay, super duper then. Couple of super duper. Drop it in there. Where's my rivet? One there. Push that one in there. One for the back. One for the money, two for the shoes. There we have it. Okay, you can hold that down for a second or two. And uh, we'll get it on the magic roundabout. And we'll have a look at it. This is what we started with. Seriously ever painted Mark 1 Cortina. Now we can see how it all came out. Have a look at this. Okay, here we have it then. Dinky Toys, Mark 1, Full Cortina, two door. Dedicated to Juliet, Jeff Moe's wife. Right, now before you, um, I go any further, and some of you probably have noticed that when I made a bit of a clangor there, when I was putting the front axles in, um, there was a reason why I was worried about it. They weren't looking right. I found out what it was. I forgot to put them under the spring in the base, which I should have done first. So it was lucky that I got it before the glue dried, pulled it out, slotted them under the spring, and we're good to go. Okay, so have a closer look. Right, this is Ford Olympic blue, and I changed the interior colour to the uh, darker blue. To in contrast, got black carpet. I've done a dashboard to body colour, as they were. I've coloured in the door cards, the same as the interior, and uh, I put a little gear stick in there. Uh, made a pin and just put it uh, glued it in. Uh, everything else is pretty good. 
on it. It's got a slight crack in the screen at the bottom there. But it wasn't worth changing it. Headlights, side lights, number plates. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Now, I'm pretty pleased with how the back lights came out on this. As you see, it would come round in a second. I used the silver paint. Well, the uh, metal coat, umbrella. And I did the uh, translucent Tamiya. So, there you have it. I'd just like to say thanks for watching. And much appreciated. And all your comments will be answered. Uh, I read every comment, obviously, and I answer every comment. No kid out then. And my uh, email address is in the About section on YouTube channel. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> Alright, so I'll just push them in. They do need a um, slight adjusting there, but... Uh, okay. So we'll see you again with something else later on in the week. Well, the following week. Bye for now. Do, 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 do.